here. I think the last time I was here, I was still recovering from butt surgery. And now I'm just recovering from my time spent in New York City. So it's kind of a healing therapeutic thing I do every once in a while. Come, come to Idaho. I, I sure appreciate you, uh, you being here today and supporting your local sheriffs. I'll tell you why I feel that's so important uh, later. And, and of course, all the police officers and everything else. And, you know, I, I, I want to spend some time talking to you about just the, thing, the way things are and what's going on in our world and how things just don't make sense. But I also want to spend some time later on in the afternoon talking to you about how important I think you are, how important I think the Mountain West is, how important I think the role that you will play in the coming months and years in our country. But I first, I think I, think I just want to start with how crazy things are. I mean, I don't know if it's as crazy here I mean, I come here, you might think it's crazy here, I don't know. I mean, I did hear about your latest state session, which, I mean, how many times do they have to run it through before they understand what no means on, a, on an income tax or a, or a gasoline tax? <laughs> but we're living in a world that is completely upside down now. We're living in a world that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. We're, here we are, we, we know that we need energy. And yet, we're not drilling for our own resources. We won't, they won't even let us put solar panels into the deserts now because, well, that will wreck the desert. Where are you supposed to put a solar panel if I can't put it in the desert? Everything is completely upside down. We say that we want to conserve energy, and so what they do is they give us these new fluorescent light bulbs. Do you know where the old light bulbs were made? Kentucky. The new ones? China. Did we master the transporter for the light bulbs? How are they getting from China? They're getting on a very slow boat from China here. <laughs> Aren't we using the energy to get them from China? The fluorescent light bulb? We have Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Makes no sense to me whatsoever. We now have the government owning our banks. They'll tell you that they didn't want to take them over. I don't believe that for a second. Now they're controlling our banks. And Barney Frank is on the scene. <laughs> you know, every time I look at the flag, I think there's a couple of states, a couple of stars we should just rip right off. <laughs> You know, I wish one said CA, so if you know which one, okay, oh yeah, you, you need to come on. You have, you have the people that are electing Barney Frank, somehow or another, don't hear him say, and uh, what I really want to do now is loosen the standards. Now that we have the banking under control, we want to loosen the standards a bit for loaning money. Isn't that what got us where we are now? Loosening the restrictions, we're also selling our debt to ourselves now. I don't know how that works. I wish I did. Wouldn't that be sweet? Gee, I don't have any money. Could I borrow some money, Glenn? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> that doesn't work. We're loaning money to ourselves now. We have printed, just in the first three months of this year, we printed three times the amount of total cash that was in the system back in November. We just printed it. And nobody is really even paying attention to that. It has never worked in the past. It, you get to a system where you figure you're just saying, well, maybe something will happen. Maybe the blue fairy will come and open up the cage and we can all get out like Pinocchio. It doesn't work that way. We have, we have now promised, our Fed, our Treasury, has promised $13 trillion to people who are too big to fail. $13 trillion. To put that into perspective, remember when everybody was screaming that we, we had too big of a debt during the last election? 
that debt, the ceiling had just been moved to $11 trillion. Since November, we have promised another $13 trillion on top of that and moved the debt ceiling from 11 to 12. Then on top of that, we had Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security. That debt now, unfunded liability, is $99 trillion. How do we pay for that? In 2016, the interest on that debt of what we had just six months ago, the interest is $1 trillion a year. To put this into perspective, just the $99 trillion, you could take all of the money and tax at 100% every person from Bill Gates all the way down and you still couldn't pay this debt off in 10 years. Now that leads us to slavery. We may, our children are gonna look at us and say, oh, well you guys were living the high life. I don't think this is the high life. We weren't living the high life. We were just quiet. We just didn't say anything. We just aren't thinking. Because somehow or another, these weasels, we still trust them. Or at least we trust them enough not to grab a pitchfork and a torch and grab their ass and throw them out of office. <laughs> We're now talking about, you know, the, the Fed has $9 trillion, not to be confused with any of the other trillions that I just told you about. They have also, the Fed has also guaranteed $9 trillion 